So we're here at the historical panorama in Königsberg, 1945, the last assault by the Red Army against the Nazi Army, April 45. And here at Königsberg City Museum, here you look at kind of panorama how the fight was. And it was a big, heavy fight. So you see here at the end, the Russian T-34 tank supporting the infantry with a heavy fight in Königsberg. With uh, soldiers killed in action, German soldiers, Volkssturm soldiers, also Russian soldiers. There are logos made by the Germans, the Schwache Russian Convincing Sebastopol, so they say the Germans won in Sebastopol in Crimea. But uh, so they say, well, Königsberg uh, is the strongest uh, uh, place in Europe, and uh, the Russian will take it, but of course, the Red Army won. So, we're here in the Royal Castle in the basement in the famous Blutgrieg uh, restaurant with a lot of wine and some beers. Here's a uh, wounded uh, guy from the Volkssturm. There's um, regular German soldiers with the MG42 machine gun, some hand grenades, of course some logos. Here's sometimes a bottle of wine, like the Doppelkorn in Wittekind, some beers. And then we're going to the battle scene. Advancing Russian Red Army. <coughs> this is a Panzer Post. German soldier. Label werfer and assaulting Russian Soviet soldiers. See some German vehicles burning. Tank. Of course, the soldier showed mercy to a guy of the Hitler unit, so he's not shot. He's a bit pretty amazed that he's not getting shot. And this is a famous Anton Mikhailovich, who killed a lot of uh, Nazi soldiers in action, and he became hero of the Soviet Union. And this German soldier is handing a Sturmgewehr, later developed by the Russians the AK-47. Here are the German army with the MG-42 and the advancing Russian army. Last uh, three months this fight and then uh, the Germans capitulated and later the city became Kaliningrad, named by a famous Russian Soviet Communist Kalin.